So I've always wanted to get into sculpting, but I never really found a medium that resonated with me. I was doing some research online and I found this stuff called monster clay. Seems pretty cool and I thought we'd try and sculpt something with it today. This isn't going to be a tutorial or anything as it was my first time using it. I just thought it'd be fun if I gave my first impressions to see if I can even sculpt anything to begin with. So how it works is that it's an oil based clay that's pretty hard at room temperature. But if you expose it to heat it turns into a liquid. Once it's a liquid it allows you to move it around onto your armature. And then once it cools a bit it allows you to sculpt with it. There's a bunch of ways to heat it up, but I found this cheap crock pot online because most people say that's where it works best for them. Can it cook wieners? Yes, this crock is large enough to cook wieners. Unfortunately, it wasn't big enough to fit all the clay in at once though, so I had to cut it. It's a little harder than I thought it'd be, but eventually I got it to fit. While that cooks, I want to talk about the character I'm going to sculpt. I like... umbrellas? Wait. I mean, I like characters with umbrellas. Kind of specific. I just like rain, really. I think it adds a lot to a piece. But it's pretty impossible to actually sculpt rain, so an umbrella is a good way to show it. I particularly like the leaf umbrellas found in Animal Crossing. I did this drawing a while back, and I want to try and sculpt a simplified version of it. It won't be too big, but I do want to try and make a base for him to sit on. The armature was pretty basic as it was just a ball of tin foil. The umbrella is going to need an armature wire, but we can do that later once we figure out how big he's going to be. To start, I just took the ball of tin foil and covered it until it was roughly toad shaped. Next up were the eyes and the legs. The rock is the same process, just took a flatter ball of tin foil and covered that in clay. Then to bond the two I poured liquid clay onto it to act as like a glue. Here's how I did the front arms.
think we're gonna fast forward through things a bit here. So the leaf, I thought the leaf was going to be a lot harder than it actually was. The armature wire I got is thick enough to hold it on its own. I was worried it wouldn't be able to, but it worked out. I just bent it around his head until I got it thick enough, then I cut it. After that I took it out and covered it in clay. Put it back in. And there we go. Final step. I got this stuff. People say it works good. It's called isopropyl. Muristate. It's supposed to melt the clay down a bit and smooth it out to get rid of fingerprints and stuff. You probably won't be able to even see it much on camera, but I liked it. I thought it worked pretty good. All right, that was fun. I learned a lot. I still got cleanup and stuff to do, but I can do that off camera. Next time we're going to look at casting it in a resin. I think I'll do one more sculpture between now and then though, so I can cast them both at the same time and not waste any materials. After that we're going to paint them. Should be fun. Before all that though, I got some other stuff planned, so stay tuned. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.